Hi there, my name is Claire with Sweepless Yoga. Today I'd like to share with you some stretches to help if you have really, really tight hips. So I think that a lot of uh, props can be helpful. So if you have any blankets or towels that you can roll up or blocks or bolsters, pillows, cushions. Um, so just gather any props that you have and we'll work on trying to open up those hips a little bit. So let's get started in a butterfly pose. A lot of people have difficulty with this pose. I'm very flexible in this shape, but a lot of people are way up here um, and it can be painful for a lot of people if they have really tight hips. So something that you can do is you can take some blocks perhaps and prop your legs up and you can adjust the height. You can use rolled up blankets as well, pillows, whatever feels good. And you can adjust the height to a point where you start to feel a little bit of a stretch. And then you can just let your body kind of relax into that shape. You don't want to have any pain or pinching. Um, you want to be careful with your knees as well. You can play with the position of your feet closer or further away. It changes which parts of your hips it stretches. So find a good position for you. And you can either stay sitting up. Sometimes it's helpful also for people to place a block or a blanket underneath their bottom to help in this pose. So see how that, that even opens my legs up even more. So you can stay sitting up straight once you find your shape. If it feels good to open up your hips that way. Or you can begin to walk your hands forward. And try to keep a straight spine here because we're focusing on the hips. We're not trying to stretch out the back here. We're trying to focus on opening up those hips. Just breathing into it. Just letting your body kind of ease in. And you can practice holding these poses for longer at home. I just wanted to share um, some of these poses with you so that you have them in your toolkit. To help you feel better. And when you're ready, we'll come up out of that and just take your legs in a windshield wiper motion. Just loosen everything up. And then we'll take, some people call this double pigeon, some people call this fire log pose. So the goal is to have your right knee over your left ankle and your right ankle over your left knee. Many people are like this in the shape. So what you can do is you can support under this knee and then you can support with another prop here under this knee. And this helps open up your hips too. So for this shape, you can, again, you can sit up tall and just let your legs open up with your props. If you're very flexible, you can start walking your hands forward and see if that feels good. And we'll just stay on this side for a few breaths and then we'll switch sides. Again, keeping your back straight, keeping your spine long, focusing on the hips. And to change the stretch, you can always walk your hands over to one side, walk them to the other side. 
but for now we'll just um, we'll stay forward but just know that when you're practicing at home you can play around with those positions and where you want to feel that stretch okay and then we'll lean back we'll take that windshield wiper motion again and then we'll stack the left on top of the right Again, you can put props underneath this knee, underneath this knee. You can put props under your behind, if that helps. Sitting up tall or walking your hands forward, keeping that long spine. Remembering to breathe, breathe into the stretch. And then coming back up, we'll take an internal rotation with the left hip now. So take your feet as wide as you can go with your knees bent. And you're going to let your left knee fall inward. And you're not pressing this. You don't want to hurt your knee or hurt your hip. You just want to let it sink down. It might be way up here, but just let it, let it go inward. And if you need support, you can prop it up just to help it along a little bit. If you need that sort of support under there. I've very much encourage the use of props if you need props. They can be really helpful, really therapeutic. And then from here, we'll transition into a deer pose. So you, both legs are at a right angle. If you can make it to this pose, if you need to prop your hips up on something, you can sit on top of a bolster. I'll show you. If you need help propping up, you can play with your props and see what feels good to you. And you can lean back at an angle if you want to get extra stretch in the right or the left hip there. And you can also sink forward. You can walk your hands all the way over to the side into a twisting stretch. See what feels good to you today. And then we'll go to the other side. So feet wide. Letting that right knee drop down. Supporting it if needed. Feels very strange, right? Because we don't normally stretch our legs this way with the internal rotation. Feels good though. I think it feels good. Then we'll transition into our deer pose. Using your props if you need it. And again, you can sink back at an angle. You can stretch forward over the leg. Or you can walk your hands over to the left side and sink down for a, a twisty stretch. So I'm going to take this, this back angle stretch for today. So 
So the next pose I want to show you is we'll come into a yogi squat. And a lot of times people have trouble sinking their, their hips down. So you want to get your feet as wide as you need it. The goal is to get your heels to the ground. A lot of people cannot do that. So if, you, if you're up here, that's fine. So what you want to do is you want to find a prop that can support wherever you're at. So where are your hips? Are they up here? If they're up here, you want to get a prop that can hold you up here. You could stack a bunch of pillows. If you're down a little further, you can, you can use a bolster, you can use a block. If you're flexible, you can just let it sink down. And you can press your elbows into your knees and use your palms, put your palms together to help open up those knees. And I don't want to hold these poses too, too long, not like a yin session because we're doing a lot of poses and I don't want to overwhelm your hips too much. If it becomes too much, just come out of the pose. I just want you to have a lot of options to help you open up your hips as you work on this at home. So another pose that can be helpful, it, it can also be very difficult, but I want to show it to you in case it's something that might be helpful for you is frog pose. It can be very challenging. I'll show you without the prop and then I'll show you what you can do with some of the props. So you take your knees out wide and your shins are at a right angle. So your hips are sinking towards the ground. And this can look like this or it can look like this. Some very flexible people might be flat, but most people are not. And what you can do is you can, you can put folded blankets under your knees for support if, if you have very sensitive knees. You can put a bolster underneath your hips and your torso to help support you and open up that shape. This pose is not for everyone. But I want you to know that this is an option because it can be very helpful for some people even with a chronic pelvic pain. And so a lot of times tight hips, you can come up out of this if you're in your frog pose. A lot of times tight hips um, are, you know, everything is connected. So a lot of us have um, tight quads because we end up sitting, our hip flexors are tight, we're sitting a lot. So a uh, hero pose can be very helpful. Some people take hero pose with the heels underneath the bottom. You can stretch out your thighs your quads by widening your feet to the outsides of your hips. And this can be very challenging and you have to be very careful with your knees. So if you're not able to sink all the way down, you can start off by putting a prop underneath your bottom. And some people lay all the way back in this pose. But right now, we're just going to do this sitting. If a block is too high, you can fold up a blanket. Just really depends on where you're at and your flexibility. Like for me, that feels pretty good today. And you can walk your hands back if you want to get a little extra stretch. You can lay all the way back if you're feeling super duper flexible today, which I am not.
And then so coming out of this, come up on your hands and knees and just kind of wiggle your hips around so you can loosen that up. And then we can take a low lunge. So taking your right foot in between your hands and using your back foot to walk your knee back, you want to try to keep your hips square. And there are a lot of variations of this that you can do. If you're really, really tight, you want might want to get some blocks to hold you up here. So you're not sinking too far and hurting yourself. So you want to just see where you're the edge of that stretches and just kind of sink into it so you're not hurting yourself. I mean, you can, if you're very flexible, you can come open up your foot and come down onto your forearms, but for the purpose of this video, since it's for very, very tight hips, we're going to stay with the props. And then wiggle it out, and then you can switch your legs. And you want to try to keep the knee over the ankle. Should really feel this in the hip flexor in the front. And release, and we'll make our way onto our backs. And we'll come into a reclined pigeon. So coming onto your back, bending your knees, right ankle on top of the left knee. If you're very, very tight, you might stay here. You can use your right hand to press, gently press your hip open, pressing towards your knee. If you are able, if you want to take it further, you're bringing your legs towards you, holding behind your left hamstring or on top of your left shin. Let's see how far you can go without hurting yourself. And again, just easing into it. You can shift your legs over to the left a couple of inches to intensify the stretch in the hip. And then in keeping that shape, you can let the whole shape fall down towards the ground, keeping that right foot flat on the mat. You can hold on to that foot. You can use your right hand to press into the knee. If you want to intensify the stretch, we're getting into the IT band here. And then coming up, we'll switch sides. Left ankle on top of right knee. And if you'd like to stay here, using your left hand to help you along or pulling your legs in, holding on wherever it feels good today.
And then keeping that shape, letting your legs fall to the right. You could hang onto your ankle. You can gently press into towards the left knee. Or you can just let it be. Feel the stretch. And coming up, we'll come into a supported bridge pose. So you can put a bolster. I'm going to use a block. And you'll want to place your prop underneath your sacrum. Which is a like the triangle shaped bone structure below the lower back. So it's right between your bottom and your lower back. Kind of what connects them there. And if you'd like, you can stretch your legs out. And that will bring a little bit of extra stretch into the hip flexors. If you want to take that a little deeper, you can pull your right knee towards you and then alternate with the left. And then pressing your feet into the mat, remove your prop. And then we'll take a happy baby pose. So bending your knees into your chest and then opening up your knees. Lifting your feet towards the sky if you can. You might be way up here. You can just hang onto your legs wherever you can reach. You can hang onto the backs of your hamstrings. We're just trying to open up our hips here. If you can reach your feet, you can grab the outsides of your feet or take your peace fingers on your big toes. Trying to press your sacrum into the mat so you don't want your bottom coming up way up off the mat. So you're trying to keep your back flat here. And release and coming back up to a seat and I want to thank you for practicing with me today I hope that these stretches will help you open up your hips find which stretches feel good and try to do them frequently you know maybe once a day maybe a few times a week but if you do them regularly then you should notice a difference in hopefully help your hips be less tight and less painful if it's causing you pain. So I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for joining me. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if you liked it. And I hope to practice with you again soon. Thank you so much again. Namaste. Have a wonderful, beautiful day.